Hello everyone and welcome to my video. I'm Dr. Mahdi. Today in this video I'll explain to you about bioconjugation using click chemistry reaction. At the end of this video, if you like it, please push the like, press the subscribe button. You can also share it with your friends. Now let's start the video. Uh, first, uh, uh, first of all, I would like to give you a definition of bioconjugation. Uh, bioconjugation is a chemical strategy to form a stable covalent link between two molecules, which at this one of them is biomolecule. For example, you have two molecules and uh, you want to have a covalent bond between these two molecules. You can use a uh, bioconjugation, but please note at least one of them should be biomolecule. And also it's possible both molecules could be biomolecules, one or two. But for this purpose, we would like to use a Killy chemistry, Killy chemistry reaction. But why Killy chemistry? Killy chemistry is a class of robust chemical reaction. I mean, if you are looking for very robust bond, it's better to use a Killy reaction. And also, a Killy reaction has some more advantages, some more advantages. For example, simple reaction conditions, high yield and also compatibility with different kinds of solvents, especially water is another advantage for Killy chemistry reaction. That's why that we want to use Killy chemistry for bio conjugation. Uh, in the following, I would like to give you some examples about uh, bio conjugation and I would like to start with nanoparticles conjugation. I mean, we would like to have uh, some biomolecules on the surface of nanoparticles and I already mentioned we need to uh, when we have when they want to have bioconjugation we need at least one biomolecule. But here you know nanoparticles are not biomolecule. Definitely the second part, the second part that uh, we want to have it on the surface of nanoparticles, they should be biomolecule. Here you can see general uh, schematic of uh, bioconjugation with nanoparticles. For example, we have nanoparticle. Here you can see the nanoparticle. In next step, we cover the surface of nanoparticle with uh, dopamine acrylamide. In the structure of dopamine acrylamide, we have alkene. And now in next step, we would like to do bioconjugation and connect some biomolecules on the surface of nanoparticle. And for this purpose, we would like to use chili chemistry. Which type of chili chemistry? We would like to use thiolene. Thiolene is a type of chili reaction. It's a reaction between thiol and alkene. We already connected, uh, I mean, we already attached alkene on the surface of a uh, nanoparticle. In next step, we would like to connect a biomolecule. For example, we would like to connect PEG on the surface of nanoparticle. Uh, we need to find the PEG with thiol group and after click reaction between thiol in the structure of PEG and also alkene on the surface of nanoparticle, we can functionalize a nanoparticle with PEG. And also we can uh, attach optomer. I mean, we can have a bioconjugation between nanoparticle and optomer. Again, we need optomer with thiol group. And again, after click reaction, we will have a optomer on the surface of nanoparticles. Another type of bioconjugation, for example, we would like to have a protein on the surface of nanoparticle. Uh, and in this case, we can use uh, proteins with Cysteine group, here you can see a structure of cysteine. Cysteine is amino acid. In the structure of cysteine, we have thiol, and thiol in the structure of cysteine can participate in reaction with alkene. And after click reaction, we can have protein on the surface of nanoparticle. I mean, we have already functionalized the nanoparticle with a protein, or we have already bioconjugated a nanoparticle with protein. Uh, the second example for bioconjugation is a DNA conjugation. For example, sometimes you would like to attach something to the DNA. In this case, we call it DNA conjugation. Uh, I would like to give you an example. For example, we have DNA and we would like to attach protein on the surface of DNA. I mean, we would like to have DNA protein conjugate. Again, we would like to use Killy chemistry, but uh, which type of Killy chemistry? CUAAC, copper alkyne azide cycloaddition. It's a reaction between azide and alkyne in the presence of copper as a catalyst. For example, we have DNA. First, we need to have alkyne modified DNA. I mean, first, we need to have uh, alkyne in the structure of DNA. 
in next step for protein, we, will, uh, we need to have a azide protein or a, a azide peptide. I mean, we need to have azide in the structure of protein. You know, in the structure of protein, we have an H2 amine. We can, uh, I mean, we need to look for a molecule with azide group and, for example, NHS ester. And after reaction between NHS ester and amine in the protein, we can attach, we can connect azide to the protein. Now we have DNA with alkyne group and also we have protein with azide group. And after click reaction in the presence of copper as a catalyst, we can have DNA peptide or DNA protein conjugate. And I would like to give you some more example for DNA conjugation. For example, sometimes you would like to have a, a fluorophore. I mean, we would like to have a fluorescent ink on the surface of DNA. Again, we need to make alkyne modified DNA. I mean, we need to have alkyne in the structure of DNA. In next step, we need to use a fluorescent ink with azide group. For example, tamroazide in the structure of tamroazide, we have azide. Tamra, I mean azide in, in the structure of fluorescent ink and also alkyne in the structure of DNA and after click reaction between azide and alkyne, now we can have DNA fluorescent ink conjugate. Or no, sometimes for example, we would like to have a vitamin uh, attached to the DNA. Again, we need to have a alkyne modified DNA. I mean, we need to have alkyne in the structure of DNA. In next step, we can use a vitamin such as biotin with azide group. For example, we can use biotin azide. It's a structure of biotin with azide group. And again, after click reaction between uh, alkyne in the structure of DNA and also azide in the, in the structure of biotin, we can have DNA uh, biotin conjugate. Uh, the third example for uh, bioconjugation is protein conjugation. I mean, sometimes it would like to attach something to a protein and again we would like to use click reaction in this case we would like to use SPAAC esterin promoted alkyne azide cycloaddition it's a reaction between azide and cycloalkyne and in this case we don't need catalyst first we need to have azide in the structure of a protein I already mentioned they have to have azide in the structure of protein I mean first we need to attach azide to the uh, protein and also in the structure of second biomolecule that uh, we would like to have it uh, attached to the protein, we need to have cycloalkyne. And after click reaction between cycloalkyne and also azide in the structure of protein, we can have a protein conjugation, something like this. Uh, in the following, I would like to give you some more examples for protein conjugation. For example, we have protein and we would like to have uh, different molecules, different biomolecules attached to protein. And first we need to have an uh, alkyne modified uh, protein. I mean, first we need to uh, connect or attach a cycloalkyne to protein. In next step, for example, we would like to have protein-protein conjugation. I mean, we would like to attach protein to our protein. In this case, in the structure of second protein, we need to have azide and azide in the structure of second protein and also alkyne in the structure of first protein and after click reaction we can have protein protein conjugate sometimes you would like to have a fluorescent uh, protein if you would like to have a fluorescent protein again you, you need to use bioconjugation and you need to use a fluorescent ink for example tamra azide in the structure of tamra azide we have azide group tamra azide is fluorescent and in the structure of protein we have cycloalkyne again after click reaction between fluorescent ink and also alkyne in a protein we would we will have fluorescent protein or protein fluorescent conjugate and sometimes we would like to have peg uh, attached to the protein in this case we need to have azide in the structure of peg i mean we are looking for uh, azide peg and after click reaction between azide in peg and also cycloalkyne in a protein we will have a protein peg conjugate and the last example for the bioconjugation is antibody dna conjugation for example sometimes we would like to attach dna to antibody we can use bioconjugation i would like to give you an example for example here we have antibody and we would like to have we would like to attach dna to antibody and again using kili chemistry but which type of kili chemistry? Thiol and Michael cycloaddition. Thiol and Michael cycloaddition. It's a reaction between thiol and molemide. 
For example, here we have antibody, we have immunoglobin antibody in the structure of antibody, we have disulfid bound. First, we need to use uh, teris carboxyethylphosphine uh, for reducing uh, disulfid bound, and after that, we will have thione. In the structure of DNA, we need to have malamide, and after a critic reaction between thiol and also uh, malamide, we will have antibody DNA conjugate. I uh, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you would like to know more about clinical chemistry and bioconjugation, uh, I ask you to uh, read my papers that uh, I recently published. And if you like this video, please push the like, press the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell. In this case, you will get notification whenever I publish a new video. And at the end, please don't forget that life is short and enjoy it. Thank you so much and bye.